might seem like a waste of time. But speaking of sorties, we also have Sephiroth. Now this is one of those top tier sorties I was just mentioning. A uh, really strong character, uh, one that I've been picking up recently as well. This is going to be a matchup of <laughs> Sephiroth trying to outrange Corrin, really, because you're you're one of the few characters that can do that. You have a bigger sword. Absolutely, and already speaking to that, we already see some pretty good, um, you know, aggression from Hushida's Finest, just putting on some damage, putting on 46%, and still trying to find their way in, even though, you know, Steven has kind of been, you know, out maneuvering him almost, but, you know, not enough to actually get away from Hoshin's Finest and just yeah. almost eating the F-Smash, but that, not gonna die just yet. That yeah. is a weakness that will come out, Sephiroth's weight. I believe he's as the same weight as Kirby, and that can definitely come into effect versus Corrin. The up air is really strong, the bear is really strong, and of course the tipper F smash is going to take a stock. And we're seeing really intense uh, aggression from HF right now, because I think they're aware of Sephiroth's ability to zone um, you out, but when you get right next to Sephiroth, it's not like he has the best moves in the game, you know? He's really only got like Nair and Jab to hit someone super close. So really good stuff, just not giving Sephiroth the space to camp. Absolutely. Not only that, you know, Corrin's moves, Corrin's like aerials are really good at just like making you think that you can, you know, punish them. But at, a lot of the time, you really can't. Really hard to kind of just space out, which is kind of looking like we have the issue here from Steven not really being able to space out and just trying to put on some damage onto the board so that we can see Steven take off this dock. Oh. But the piling is, I mean, the damage is piling and piling on. Yeah, right there, we saw um, something really interesting. Steven went for like a short hop fair and neutral, and we saw HF do a dash dance actually to get around it, then come in with core and dash attack. So we're seeing HF clearly has experience when it comes to maneuvering around large swords. Like, um, they're really just not giving Steven space, but also playing from such a good distance, like there, spacing himself to be away from the fair and then dashing in to whiff punish something really precise and clearly he's really aware of Sephiroth's weaknesses. Absolutely, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Already at a you know two stock deficit we're seeing from Steven, it's just really hard for them to actually find their footing. Yeah, it seems the whole game has been HF in the, mm -hmm. in the driver's seat. I, it seems like Steven has not had a second to think about his game plan, how he's going to position himself, because now it's just like you're at such a large deficit, and that F smash, very weak if you do not get the sweet spot. Well, not very weak, but not the strongest. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh. I think Steven had the right idea jumping there, thinking that HF would go high, but a little late on pulling the trigger. And I think at this point, you're going to need some one-wing miracles. Uh, you're going to need to really cheese some stocks early. But right now, HF is still sitting at 180%. Absolutely. Very nice tomahawk grab, but not going to get it just entirely yet. And very good. They've um, Hojin's finest has been stalling so many times that it's really hard for Steven to actually get you know, some damage. So other than that, like that was, it was just really, you know, hard for Steven to actually find, you know, any more tool, any more of their tools to usually get in and just start piling damage on to Corrin. But other than that, I feel like we might see a character swap. That's Steven. exactly what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, I mean, either way, like they definitely do have other characters that can, you know, do the same thing that Sephiroth does, but make them feel a little bit more comfortable. That was not looking like they were at their most comfortable, you know, not really the best. But there's always a chance to make it, you know, make it a little bit better. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And Steven's a strong player, you know, I've played with him plenty. He definitely has the capability to take stocks. It just seems like Sephiroth's a character that you need to kind of get in a groove with, like you were saying, and I don't think Steven ever found that groove and just got overwhelmed. Right now we're seeing Diddy. This is a very strong character versus Sorties. The banana um, obviously has such a great ability to whiff push, punish landing aerials that are otherwise really, really strong. So I really uh, agree with this switch from Steven. Absolutely, and we're already seeing that switch come into effect. We're seeing 60% on the board, and, you know, Hoshiden still, you know, doing pretty fine. It's just, Steven's been able to put so much damage onto them, and now this could be a little bit, you know, scary, because right now, if they keep this advantage up, they keep putting on the damage, we could see it stop, you know, coming to a close soon. Yeah, especially when you're on the ledge against the banana just sitting there, and that took the ledge jump right there. Uh, HF want to jump from ledge to avoid interacting with the banana or the Diddy just looming from roll distance. And Steven was aware of that and went for uh, an F tilt to punish that. 
Absolutely, and that was very nice taking that first stock with only 81% on the board so far and just really making it hard for Hoshin's Finest to actually, you know, play. But that, you know, pin is not going to take it just yet. But they have Steven at the corner and this is where they can put some pressure and that was a very good call up to get it, but just, oh, wow. Yeah, he was, um, he was holding on to the ship a little bit too long there. Adam, so if you do not know, after 11 hits on your shield, you have an invincible roll. Um, and so to get out of that, you have to wait a little bit. Then once you've been hit about 11 times, roll uh, in to avoid the hit of the, of the F smash. But Steven right there, kind of just sitting like a deer in headlights. And that was really crucial for um, HF because Diddy's kind of a small, really agile character. It could be super tough for Corrin to close out stocks. So to get a kind of like freebie like that with Steven just holding shield too long, HF's definitely going to try to um, take that all the way to the, gain a lead. But, oof, this could be scary. Okay, very nice getting out of the corner there. I really love how, ooh. I was going to say, you know, about Hoshin's Finest being in the corner, but that corner situation was not favorable for them dying at 180% maybe, oh. but retaliating immediately and killing Steven at 86%, and we're at even, pretty much. Yeah, and Steven, he's been so strong this entire game, but you can't give up stocks like this. There's now both stocks for HF have kind of been... Steven giving them away a little, and especially that landing on that neutral B. So we're going to have to see if Steven can not do that a third time and close this out. Already about a 70% lead. Mm -hmm. And we have a very good lead here. Having the banana, you know, very good use. Just hitting shield and whatnot, not always doing too much. But it's usually just a lot of Diddy's areas that are doing a lot of the work right now, and that's what we're kind of seeing. And I like that dash attack. Um, if you do know that Diddy's going to do an item toss with the banana, the dash attack can catch it. Um, definitely options you're going to have to be able to go for as Corrin to be able to get in on a Diddy doing like back dash, banana throw and such. Ooh. And yes, yeah, some really bald choices from HF right here. You're going to have to be... Um, I like going for risky approaches, but you have to be careful. You're at one, 130 now. Absolutely. Any of those risky approaches that you're talking about will get you sniped, will get you caught, and you will be dead. And like that, we're seeing, ooh, yeah, Hoshin lose that second stock due to the same way that they actually got hit with F tilt that first stock. Yeah, exactly. Ledge hop, um, obviously a really great option. People love to go for ledge hop, but if it gets caught, you're jumpless. And Corin does not have the best recovery, as we saw those two stocks. Um, I think it's safe to say, not a Sephiroth day for Steven. <laughs> not, uh, a, not a Sephiroth day, it's a Diddy day for Steven. And I definitely really liked, you know, Steven's ledge chopping there. And even at that, you know, Gene's Finest was playing really well. However, it was just a lot of those situations, all of those jumps, you know, that they chose were what mainly killed them. And as much as they had kind of a good time, a lot of the times that it really mattered just wasn't really working out for them. But we're going to see a swap to... Yoshi Stories, which is a very good pick I like, but it's looking like it's not really working out too much. Hoshin's Finest is still on the ledge, and that's where they've been struggling super consistently. Steven's been doing really well with just making sure that Hoshin's Finest can stay, you know, at that ledge, just piling on damage. Yeah, Steven's uh, ability to rack damage since switching to Diddy has been super strong right here, 101%. It just goes to show kind of a weakness of Corrin of not really having like the best like get out of jail free tools, you know, against a character that's as like prominent as Diddy with like really quick night like, aerials and like good uh, mix ups with monkey flip and like stuff like down tilt. Corrin just does not have those like other top tier tools to combat that. Absolutely, and we're seeing that play into effect right about now using down air to get out of disadvantage right there and getting away a little bit for free, but. We're still at 131%, so anything, you know, Steven can literally just sneeze on Hoshin's Finest and they might just die. Right here on ledge, went for that uh, F tilt again. Would have caught the jump if he was just a little bit closer. But again, a counter pick like Yoshi's, that up there would have killed. Uh, a small stage could be pretty strong for Corrin, because Diddy, usually a character that kills like always at like 130 range and such, but Corrin can steal stocks very early, just like that pin, and a stage this small will benefit her. Absolutely, and 
that's not gonna take it just entirely yet and now we have a pretty you know okay lead we just need to see you know Hoshin's finest put on some damage so we can make it a little bit more comfortable and very nice back air to get out of that knowing that it wasn't true oh and this could be a really frustrating position if you're steven right here able to find that before the bleeding gets too strong but once again you started this game with a 100 percent string and now you're down by a little bit cannot be the best feeling but it's only by a little bit, not too much that, you know, a good, really strong advantage state can't really make up. But speaking of advantage states, having to tech on that platform, the big up air of Corrin coming to effect, covering so many options. And now it's been a while since Steven's landed, and that's going to take the stock. What a huge just uh, streak of uh, reads from HF, able to know exactly where Steven's going to be and doing the pin on platform, something we haven't seen so far. Absolutely. And we're just seeing, you know, Hoshin's Finest really putting on the damage. 43% right now and, you know, holding a really good position. Ooh. Yeah, and Steven's doing a little bit of that holding forward, doing the jump fares and such, just trying to get something in. This is exactly what HF wants. They want the Diddy to not camp with Banana, but rather run in and fall into the big aerials of Corrin. Absolutely. And we have just, you know, lapped. Pushing's finest, and is that gonna be death? I believe so. Okay, yes. one last shot for Steven. If uh, if he can get one of his combos going like he did earlier, this could be an even game pretty quickly. Absolutely, we just need Hoshin Finest to, you know, do a little bit of the waiting game. Just wait for Steven to actually do all the work for him. And we're seeing that happen right now with 106%. Oh. Ooh. And that was a really nice pin, getting the pin on the shield. But Steven just reacted a little bit too slow to that and couldn't really get out of there safely. And we're still at 112%. Is he going to roll or is he just going to stay there? Just staying in shield. That is a really tragic way to end it. What a strong performance from um, HF. Just totally knew how to extend the lead. You know, um, managed to get like a really nice pin uh, to get an early stock, the first stock of that game, despite being down and played it perfectly after that. Extended super well, used the stage to their advantage. Absolutely, that was a really nice game. And just not really, I think that looked like they were trying, what did that look let's like? See. That, not really uh, sure. Let's see it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think they could have rolled. I think they got hit 11 times, but they stayed you in were, You were counting a little bit too fast. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have do to we, do, do we really We know? have to do a slow-mo frame by frame, but I'm pretty sure the shield was hit 11 times. Let's see. Let's go 